Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn the difference between measures and calculated columns in Power BI and we will also learn when to use a measure and when to use a calculated column. So let's look at the demo and learn it. Before looking at the demo, let's understand what a calculated column is and what a measure is. So calculated column, it's a column that exists in the data model. So when you create a calculated column, it physically exists in the data model. So when you open the Power Query, you'll be able to see the calculated column in the data set. Okay. Whereas the measure, you will not be able to see the physical existence of the measure. This measure is created on the fly. Okay, let's now see the demo and see how a calculated column works and how a measure works. If you look at my screen here, I created a blank Power BI file and I also loaded some data into this file. So on the right hand side, you see the data set here. Uh, so in this data set, I have a product ID, product name, quantity, sale amount, discount amount and date of the transaction. Okay, so let's go to this uh, model view and see the uh, data here. So here I have these columns. So now my requirement is to get the total sale amount. Let's first create it using a calculated column. Okay. So to do that, you click on the new column here. This is how you create a new calculated column. So um, the column name I'll give it as total sales column. Just just to differentiate between a column and a measure, I'm just giving this as a, a column, total sales column. And my column will be sum of sale amount. Okay. So this is my calculated column. So I created the calculated column. And so this is the value I have for the total sale column. So you have the values of this column same for all the rows. This is because you are applying, you are creating this calculated column for the whole data set. You cannot apply a filter to this calculated column. Okay. Now let's create the measure with the same formula. Okay. So I'm creating a new measure here. Clicking on the new measure on the top. So I'm naming this measure as total sales measure. It's the same formula I'm using, sum of sales amount. Okay, so this is the uh, formula I'm using for total measure. And if you see here in the data set, you are not seeing the measure in the data set here, but, but you see the calculated column we created. That means the calculated column exists physically in the data model, whereas measure, it is created on the fly. Okay, so here on the right hand side, you can see the measure is created. Okay, so let's create a report now and see how a calculated column and measure looks in the report. Okay, so uh, let me bring in the product name here first. So for this product name, I am bringing in calculated measure and calculated column. Okay. So if you see the calculated measure, it is sliced per product name. That means this measure is able to slice based on the filter we gave. So product name is the filter here. So for every product, this measure value is changing. We did not do that in the uh, formula anywhere. The formula, we did not give that filter anywhere in the column. But the measure has the ability to slice the values for every filter we create okay whereas the calculated column it is unique for all the product names so calculated column cannot be used in the filter context so this is the difference between measure and calculated column and as a rule of thumb what you can remember is whenever you want to see some number in your report then you create a measure whereas if the value of the column is a string or a varchar where you where you want to slice and dice using this column, then you can use this calculated column. And one more difference is uh, measures, because they are created on the fly, they don't occupy space in your uh, 
uh, in your file, in your PBIX file, whereas calculated columns, because they physically exist in the report in the data set, they occupy a lot of space. So the more number of calculated columns you have, the larger your Power BI file will become. So these are the differences between measures and calculated columns. I hope this is clear. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.